There it is. I brought Zoe with me today to help me go through the locker. She can help me lift things and do the math. First thing I want to do is roll this barbecue out. This has got a grill on it, it's got a smoker. I'll get 250, 300, no problem. See this little baking dish right here? This is La Cresta. Oh. This is about $80, $90. There's that same stuff again. That's La Cresta. Gramps will get about 60 bucks for this. That's cool. Oh, you're a lot more willing to help your Uncle Brando. Look at you. Coffee grinders and silverware, all that kind of stuff. 20 bucks. Gosh, this little pine trunk's kind of old. This, that thing's worth 40 bucks by itself right there. This wine rack's 50 bucks. These are J.R. Hinkley's. These are very, very expensive knives. There's about 50 bucks worth of knives right here. Holy mackerel. Look at this. Hey, Zoe. Yeah? Look at all these Legos. Do you know anything about Legos? No. That could be worth a few hundred bucks. More La Cresta. This is another 30 bucks in frying okay. pans. This is one of those car canopy things right here. See, it's got the windows and all that. This is 150 bucks. Oh, two more La Cresta. I get 60 on the big one and 40 on the little one. Chopping block. That, Zoe, right there is 75 bucks. That's a Mission Oak table. That's 35 bucks. And this is a complete set. I'll get 50 bucks a piece on these chairs. And how many are there? Four, so 200. You're better than your Uncle Brando. Let me get over here. There's a bunch of more dirty, dusty stuff. What the heck? What is all this stuff? Oh, wow. wow. Oh, Skeleton God. stuff. These are bizarre. Look at this. This is a snake, probably. That's definitely a snake. You think you know your reptiles? That yes, I know. Do. Does that creep you out? No. Oh, that that creeps me out. That's a bird. That's a bird. You can tell by the beak. Right ah! now. Would that be fun for me and you to go get this stuff checked out? Very fun. Zoe loves animals, and Grandpa loves money. This is a perfect find. Look at the tail and everything. Place is really super cool. Hi. Hello. Are you Diana? Yes. Zoe and I found a place called the Bone Room, and it's exactly what it sounds like. A room with a lot of bones. Whoa. Look at the alligator. Mm-hmm. Good catch. So anyways, this is the stuff that I called you about. Ooh, this guy is a bat. You know what's cool about bats? What? The wings are their hands. Oh, wow. These are the fingers that have been elongated and turned oh, into wow. wings. And this looks like a bird. Mm-hmm. Definitely a bird. You can tell by the beak. I'll bet that's a Peregrine falcon. Um... It looks like a crow. No, no, no. That's a falcon. Look at the size of the beak. You no, know, I kind of think that Zoe is probably right. And this, I think, it's a squirrel. How can you tell it's a squirrel? Well, it's a rodent. And you can tell it's a rodent because of the skull. You see the orange incisors. Rodents always have yellow or orange incisors. Oh, wow. It's a little morbid to me. Oh, well. It's a snake. That smells really bad. This does? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, it does smell a little bit. It wasn't perfectly prepped, I think. I think this was a home job. Ideally, you have this in a controlled situation with beetles eating the flesh off, and then you get it out before they get through the connective tissue. Beetles eating the flesh off. It's interesting. Yeah. Zoe's a braver girl than me. I kind of want to puke. So, Diana. Can you tell me what is this worth? I yeah, kind of am suspecting, looking at them, uh, that um, this is actually illegal to sell. Illegal? Yeah, you're not supposed to sell roadkill. Do you know what? Because you like these bones, I think I'll just let you keep them. Cool. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!